The 2025 Ford Expedition has been totally restyled, with the front end adopting what Ford calls the strong man look. I'm not sure about the correctness of the description, but it is handsomely rugged. As before, it will be offered in regular and extended wheelbase, or max, models. Both ride on a redesigned suspension. The big news, however, is the total rethink of the cabin. It's clean, classy, and ready to accommodate a family of up to eight in fine style. Key is the newfound versatility that includes a liftgate tailgate configuration called the split gate. Along with the newly named active and familiar Platinum and King Ranch models comes a new model, the off-road ready Tremor. It promises to get the riders to the end of some gnarly trails. In its base trim called Active, the new Expedition looks a touch more sleek and less boxy than its predecessor, with slightly pinched rear quarter windows. As before, both short and long wheelbase models are available, and several available trim packages vary its look. New head and tail lights, a revised grille, and some new wheel designs give the SUV a fresh appearance. Around back, there's a new way to access the cargo area, a two-piece opening with an upper lift gate and lower tailgate, like that found on the updated Lincoln Navigator. Motivating the Expedition is a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 and responsive 10-speed automatic transmission that pairs with rear or four-wheel drive. The standard engine makes 400 horsepower. An even higher output version is available that bumps power to 440 horsepower. Ford also equips this adventurous trim with a rock crawl driving mode and handy off-roading features including a cruise control system designed to help maintain speed during steep hill descents and a trail turn assist feature that helps swing the rear end around when navigating a tight turn on a trail. The system applies the brakes to the inside rear wheel in sharp, slow speed turns when the vehicle is in four-wheel drive mode and on soft surfaces. All expeditions employ an independent rear suspension. While passengers are comforted by its soft ride, the driver is penalized by ungainly handling and imprecise steering feel. The off-road Focus Tremor model gets a slightly raised suspension system, underbody protection skid plates, and unique 18-inch wheels wrapped in 33.0-inch General Grabber all-terrain tires. The Expedition's cabin materials and trim pieces get fancier from model to model, topping out on the platinum trim, which is appointed with rich leather upholstery and massaging front seats. Both the standard length Expedition and long wheelbase Expedition Max have spacious interiors and, unlike some rivals, a third row that won't torture adults. Both the regular and long versions have 1,044 millimeters, 41.1 inches of legroom in the middle row, and 927 millimeters, 36.5 inches in the third row, which means all rows are adult friendly. All expeditions come with a large 24.0 inch dashboard display that serves as a big digital gauge cluster and infotainment readout. A separate, smaller display sits closer to the driver and front seat passenger and provides access to the infotainment interface. The system is built on Google software and includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, over-the-air update capabilities, and the ability to watch movies and surf the web when parked. Onboard Wi-Fi is also included. This aspect allows the driver to set the temperature, tune the radio, find and set a destination via voice command, and the system assists with calls and texts. A host of driver assist features will come standard on the 2025 Expedition. These include automatic emergency braking, 
lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring with cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring with trailer coverage, and automatic high beams. Standard intersection assist can detect oncoming traffic when attempting to make a left turn at an intersection. A 360 degree camera is also included. Second row passengers have a variety of amenities, including USB outlets, clips to hold digital devices, cup holders, a clock, and a screen for controlling infotainment and temperature. When the expedition is equipped with captain's chairs or a 40 20 40 split bench seat in the second row, this tunnel extends all the way to the first row. The second and third row seats feature a center fold down to accommodate long items, such as skis, that might not fit in the rear cargo area with all the seats up. The middle and third row seats are comfortable and have ample head and legroom. Ford did not give any hard numbers, but climbing into the third row proved it is adult ready. Both the second and third rows fold completely flat for a level floor, making it easier to load things. The clever part is the inclusion of a 40-20-40 split folding third row seat and tie down points incorporated into the back end of the center console that sits up front. This setup allows items up to almost 3 meters in length to be secured inside the expedition with the split gate closed while leaving enough space for 6 riders. As for cargo space, the regular length expedition has 612 liters, 21.6 cubic feet, of cargo space with the third row up, and 1,960 L, 69.2 cubic foot, when folded flat. Dropping the middle row opens up 3,072 L, 108.5 cubic foot, of space. The max ups those numbers to 1,022L, 36.1 cubic foot, with third row up, and 2,135L, 75.4 cubic foot, when folded. With all seats folded flat, there's a massive 3,486L, 123.1 cubic foot, 